Hey, this is Micah from Epium, and I'm going to quickly go over the crop differences between Lightroom 4, Photoshop CS5, and Photoshop CS6. We're going to start with Lightroom 4, and we're just going to drag around the crop tool a little bit so you can get an idea of how it looks. In and out, and up and down. Fun, fun. You can also go to the panel and change the angle via the slider and you can lock or unlock the aspect or you can click the aspect button and just draw your own aspect ratio lots of fun easy ways to crop things out but I'm just gonna go ahead and reset it and do a very simple crop There we go. Now I'm going to go into Photoshop CS5 and do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to play around with the crop just so you can get an idea of the differences. With this I'm going to draw it out. There's no predetermined tabs where I drag it in. I have to physically draw it out first and move it around and whatnot. And for this I can change the crop guide overlay so none rule of thirds or grid and then you can get rid of the shield or change the color of the shield which is basically the area that is being cropped and you will no longer see and an interesting extra little tool to the crop in CS5 is the perspective tick uh, you can actually change the perspective of the crop which is kinda of strange in my opinion but we're just going to return it to normal and pull out the crop to make it similar to the Lightroom 4. And there we go. Now we're going to go into CS6. Now CS6 is pretty much the same as Lightroom 4. Uh, you start out with the tabs in the corner and you can just drag it around. Uh, one cool thing that you'll notice is as you crop at strange angles or make it larger or smaller, it automatically adds transparency behind the image. And it also has similar grid options, but several more as CS5. Similar to the aspect ratio lock and unlock in Lightroom 4, you can toggle it to be unlocked and move it around how you like. Or you can set your own presets or choose one of the presets provided. A couple other cool options is you can use classic mode or auto center preview, show cropped area which basically when you crop it down or crop it larger it makes that part visible instead of just graying it out using a crop shield. And then you can choose to delete the cropped pixels or let them remain on the layer once you have chosen what you want to crop. And we're basically going to set it up the same as the other photos and crop it out. And here's a great comparison of all of the different programs side by side so you can see all the differences. We hope that this short review gives you an idea of the strengths and weaknesses between each of the crop tools between the different programs. Please make sure to subscribe to Epium for future reviews, tutorials, and short films. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!